In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to insert a watermark in Google Docs. Timmy's actually made two other videos in the past about how to insert a watermark in Google Docs, and there never used to be a built-in easy way to just insert a watermark. You had to do this difficult workaround, and then the workaround got a little bit easier, but it was still not great. But now, there's actually a very easy built-in way to just insert a watermark in your Google Doc. So, in this video, Timmy's going to show you how that's done. So, when you're in your Google Doc, you'll just need to come up to Insert, and then come down here to where it says Watermark, and click on Watermark. And now it'll bring up this panel on the side where you can insert a watermark. So, you can use an image, but Timmy will get to that in a minute if you want to use an image watermark. But if you just want to add a basic text watermark to maybe say that it's a draft, or put your name on it so everyone knows you did this document, or something like that, you just need to click on this text tab here, and then type the text you want to add here. And now, as you can see, watermark has been written across here, and you probably wouldn't type watermark, but whatever you type in this box will be written in this sort of grey writing behind your document, right across it like this. And you can also change all kinds of things. You can click on Arial here, and change the font to something else if you prefer. You can change the size, but it's best to just leave it on Auto, because that way it will automatically make it the perfect size to fit the document. And you can also make it bold and italic, and change the color if you want. But you probably wouldn't want to change the color, because if you change it to any color other than this light grey, it'll probably make the text fairly hard to read. But if you need to change the color, or you want to change the color, you could do that here. And you can also adjust the transparency. So if you slide this more this way, the watermark will become even more faded. So now it's quite hard to read. So if you only wanted your watermark to be just very faint in the background, you could slide it to somewhere like here, and now it's just a very faint little watermark in the background. And if you slid it all the way there, it would disappear, but you don't want to do that. But Timmy will just leave it to zero, because Timmy thinks it looks quite good like this. And you can also choose the angle. So by default, it's set to diagonal, so it's going across your document like this. But if you click on horizontal, it'll just be horizontally across it like this. So you might like that, but Timmy prefers diagonal. And then when you're done with all that, you can just click done. And now you have your watermark on your document. And if you have multiple pages in your document, you can scroll down and you'll see the watermark is on all the other pages. So that's really cool. And if you want to add an image watermark to your Google Doc, it's a fairly similar process. You come up to Insert, and click on Watermark. And this time, click on Image. It'll probably already be on Image, though. And now you just need to select your image by clicking here. Now, not every image is going to work perfectly as a watermark in Google Docs. If it's the wrong shape, or the wrong size, or the colors, or there's too much going on inside the image, it might not look very good, so you do have to be a bit strategic in what sort of image you choose. But you can choose an image from Google Drive, if you have pictures in Google Drive, or your Google Photos, so maybe if your phone backs up to Google Photos, you could find all those photos here. Or if you have an image on your computer, you could just click Upload, and then click Browse, and upload an image from your computer. But Timmy's just going to use an image from Google Drive. And Timmy might choose this image here. This is a fairly good image to use as a watermark, because it's portrait shaped, so it's taller than it is wide. And it has a transparent background, which is kind of nice as well. And it's not too big. So Timmy will double click on this one to insert it. And now, as you can see, the image is in on the page in the Google Doc as a watermark. And you can also change some things. So by default, the image won't be faded, which can make the text quite hard to read. So Timmy would probably recommend ticking this box that says faded. And now the image in the background, the watermark image, is just sort of faded into the background. 
so it's quite a watermark and the text is still very readable. And you can also change the scale because by default it's set to 100%, so it's basically just filling the Google Doc. But if you click here, you could change it to 50%, which works quite well with this image because it's just a little icon thing here in the middle of the document. Or you could click here and maybe change it to 150% if you wanted it to be really big, but that won't work great for most images, but it might work for yours or Tamil just put it back to 100%. And now Tamil will show you an example of what happens when you insert an image that's not so perfect for a Google Doc watermark. So if you click here again to choose a different image, maybe we'll just choose this one. This is just a picture Timmy took on Timmy's phone. And as you can see, it is faded now, so it works okay. But if we uncheck that, it's quite hard to read the text. And if we check it, it's a bit better and it's just sort of faded into the background. But as you can see, the image isn't tall enough to go right to the top. So it feels a bit weird there. And the same as on the bottom and things like that. And you can play around with the scale a bit and try to get it to fit in a bit better. But it's kind of hard to ever get it to look just right. So you do want to be quite careful in which image you choose. But once you're happy with your image watermark, you can just click on done here. And now it's done. So now you have your image as a watermark on every page of your Google Doc. So that's really cool. But if you want to create a custom perfect image for your Google Doc, so maybe you're good at Photoshop or something else, and you're going to edit an image to perfectly fit your Google Doc, the ideal image size to use as a watermark for most standard Google Docs with a standard margin is 624 pixels by 864 pixels. So if you create an image that is those dimensions, you could have it fit in your Google Doc very well. So that's really cool. But if you want to learn how to create a completely custom cool looking watermark for your Google Doc, you can learn how to do that by watching this video right here.